And this, for Manchester United, is an important one. It's going to be Liverpool to get us underway at Old Trafford. Impeccably observed. Hillsborough Memorial here at Old Trafford. Liverpool going to get us started. Referee just going through the final preparations. Counting up players, checking watches, checking with his assistants that we're all ready to go before he finally blows his whistle and allows us to get underway in this PL2 game after everybody takes a knee. All 22 players and the match officials in an ongoing stand against discrimination in all of its forms. We're into the second of the two Premier League weeks where we take a focus. Might switch around. We'll take a look because we've obviously got Trent Doherty, Gordon, Kumas all capable of playing. Into the middle it comes. Need to be quick here. Liverpool off to a lightning start. Eventually the referee blowing the whistle for the foul inside the six-yard box. And just a little bit of confusion inside the United penalty area. Yeah, alert after missing, to be fair to him. They do have a little bit of height up there, especially with Jaden Dan. Manchester United just can't squeeze through that Liverpool defence at the moment. Ennis chips this one up, dangerous, but too deep. It's going to be cleared away. Rilzek. Early as he can. But it has potentially set Liverpool going here. Cross comes in, really dangerous, takes a touch. This should be the opening goal. Somehow, Sam Murray's got back to put a challenge in. And it's an absolute belter. I mean, he's been outstanding defensively, Sam Murray, in these opening 15, 16 minutes. I think, actually, I think that might have been Sonny. Come back by Liverpool. Reese Williams, who's got first-team experience this season. Well, that's going to be an early effort. Where's that going? It's going to dip onto the crossbar. Is it brilliant stop? Well, it had to be absolutely certain, didn't he? Rotzek had to make sure that he tipped that over the top. We very nearly saw something incredible at Old Trafford. Well, it was really loose from Liverpool. Charlie McNeil pounces on it. And it's too difficult to tell whether he... United with Ennis. Ennis. Finds Curly. Curly gets the delivery and chance it for Ayadeli. Lifted over the top and behind it goes. But Maxi Ayadeli, yeah, I think he understands just how good an opportunity that was. Yeah, really good again from Ethan Ennis. Plays the ball out wide to Curly and then gets himself in the box. For an early ball in, headed away by Jackson. Oh, Al Joffrey just asleep, around the outside he goes, chance here, big save, another opportunity and it's finished. Trent Cohn doherty and Manchester United with a minuscule mistake, punished by Liverpool, United nil, Liverpool won. Yeah, it just sort of lapsed back into... I said earlier, didn't I, that there were a couple of passes that were a little bit loose. And then once Jaden Dam is a brilliant save, I have to say, from, from Eli Harrison. But Sonny Al Joffrey's got to be harder to beat there. As good a feat as Dan Scholl, it's a brilliant save from Harrison. And then what all good strikers do, Con Doherty follows up and he's got a simple tap in. I think um, when, we, when you look back at that... Slip through brilliantly to Ethan Ennis, takes a great touch, needs to get this away, finds McNeil. McNeil's going to stand an early cross all the way across the six-yard box. Needed dealing with an unconventional... Fr oh, he's done it again, lovely bit of movement from Ethan Ennis. Stops across his man. Wins the corner. He's had a very good first... Oh, your deli. And the ball back in. Oh, it's built by the keeper. Referee says foul on the keeper. I knew that was coming as well. Was Detected it? Species, aren't they? What? We're taking I'm not another so look sure. here. Well, maybe, uh, maybe. <laughs> and tackles have been brilliant, and I think Ethan Ennis as well. Offside. Put the ball home neatly, but uh, flag was already up. And I think I've done well with me offside. You've called all but one, haven't you? In fact, you might. In fact, you've called all of them. You've just called one too many. But I wouldn't expect anything less from you. <laughs> it's a great finish, but he had just 
straight behind. By the time they do, it's too late, and the ball's in the back of the net, despite a fantastic save from Eli Harrison. Oh, what a foul. Harrison has been fouled. Ball is in the back of the net, but won't count. I think it is a foul, as he just rolls this ball here, yes. Eli Harrison. It is. Yeah. Had to forget there, we're into a minute of time added on at the end of the first half. Ayadeli finds some space, gets the shot away, but doesn't get enough behind it to really trouble Mrozek in the Liverpool goal. I mentioned about... Harshly punished, haven't they, for the one mistake that they've made. Well, the half-time whistle goes and Manchester United will go in at the break, trailing by a goal to nil. Trent Cohn-Doherty managing to latch on to the end of an error from Manchester United. There were opportunities aplenty for United, just couldn't quite figure that out. The closest of them coming from Maxi Ayadeli. Ball sent in from the left-hand side, but his right-footed attempt and Ayadeli behind Ethan Ennis and Charlie McNeil. And we are underway in the second period. Liverpool have Mrozek in goal, back four of Miles Willie. Me, Liverpool brought the pressure on themselves. And it's again in the penalty area, but uh, sharply off his line came Brot, Ethan Ennis. And he's found a bit of space too. Ennis goes on the outside, bangs the cross in, chance at the back post, turned away. Don't know whether that took a little deflection on the way through, but it carried it away for him. Any red shirt inside the penalty area. Superb from Ethan Ennis. Missing infield to Curley. Curley's going to have a go from distance. Straight at the keeper. Yeah, it's a clean strike, but it was never going to trouble. Rozek and he... Big. Gordon again. Cross comes in. Well, it's a lovely ball through the penalty area. It's... I think the speed of the game, having changed the way it has, that's been given away by Louis Jackson. Dangerous. Gordon with the effort. That's a really top stop from Eli Harrison. Sharply down to his left-hand side, turns it around the post. Yeah, and United giving the ball away, and all of a sudden, they're outnumbered going forward. Louis Kumas just... Given away, and now Gordon again up to the edge of the penalty area. Gets his shot away, that's a great finish. Cade Gordon doubles the advantage, breakaway goal, and a fine finish low to the right-hand side. United nil, Liverpool two. Well, having just made a, a wonderful stop in, from a very, very similar position, Eli Harris, and there wasn't really much he could do about that, but we said in the first half when he had that run that hit the post and somehow stayed out, you can't just allow somebody to keep driving onto you, somebody's got to go and try and engage, once Ruben Curley is caught off balance there and he's beaten him, somebody has got to come on knowing what he did in the first half he always wants to work the ball onto his left foot and this time he goes across the keeper and he does it with power and he does it with accuracy and a couple of minutes after he probably thought he could have given his team a 2-0 loop and then obviously gets caught out of position ball into the middle and it goalwards just wide. Just dropped a couple of degrees at Old Trafford. Knight's guard. United threatening here, missing again. Looking to get the ball into the box. That stood up towards the back post. Sam Murray came all the way round the back. Beat everybody to it, just couldn't volley that on target. Well, I'm not so sure Mubaya actually knew that Sam Murray was that close to him. He was a little bit lax, it allows him to get in front of the fullback. Area just loses sight of the flight of the ball and uh, it's cleared away. Kumas. And we're saying a third might seal the deal. What have Liverpool got in the locker here? Cross it comes, Jaden Dans, back heel. That is outrageous from Jaden Dans. And that has sealed the deal. Manchester United nil, Liverpool three. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it was just a long, hopeful ball up to Lewis Kumas. And he does get a, a little bit of a, a, a lucky deflection. It actually miscontrols it, doesn't it? But then it is all about him. And this is where... United have come unstuck, not 
been able to finish off balls when they've, they've got themselves into these sort of positions. Having said that, Jaden Dans, as you say, Liam, it is outrageous, but it was also extremely well executed. I, it's brilliant. It was outrageous in the most positive way. That is an yeah. absolutely unreal finish. Was dragged back, wasn't it? Williams has a go from distance. Goalkeeper just shifts across. Good footwork from him. Yeah, you can understand why he took the shot on, but just inside him, or to the right of him, you see Curly there. Nolan, one back by Kumas. Nolan trying to get back at the Welsh international. Kumas has a go, but it's straight up. Eli Harrison. Of course, for the first team, it's the first victory that... Uh, well, it's the first victory yeah. that Liverpool have taken away from Old Trafford all season. Yeah. A little bit of afters. Just a little bit bad-tempered. Cade Gordon. Of Joffrey and Oyadeli sharing the ball. Oyadeli has floated one in. Chance for Scanlon. And he's got a good head on the ball, but as he's headed it, he's headed it straight at the goalkeeper. Yeah, there wasn't really enough power, I think. A better option would have been to have nodded it towards the back post. And we're into the first of those now. Williams, it's a go from distance, that's not a million miles away from Ethan Williams. Fires it goalwards, it's over the top. It's a good slide challenge that uh, gets Liverpool moving again. And with 10 seconds of uh, time added on to go, Gordon up to the edge of the penalty area. Shot's going to uh, come in from Blair. Good save from Eli Harrison. Down sharply, bowls it out. Referee blows the full-time whistle, and Manchester United, unfortunately, are taking nothing away from a Friday night at Old Trafford. Trent Cohn-Doherty, Cade Gordon and Jaden Dans, the goal scorers for Liverpool, one in the first half and two in the second, mean that Manchester United have lost in PL2 to Liverpool by three goals to nil. Yeah, I think just a little frustration from Manchester United. They had good opportunities, just could not manage to convert them into great opportunities. I suppose Ayadeli's chance in the first half, the best of all of them, and that probably takes...